Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cropper here with a little bit of information about coffee and alcohol from the invention of air by John, pardon me, by Stephen Johnson. This is published very recently, 2010, and this is in fact uh, uncorrected manuscript for limited distribution that I have here. We have a quote from page 52. Now, I'll preface this quote by uh, mentioning that humans have had alcohol for a very long time. It's simply fermented grain, or the liquid from fermented grain. It's been in our societies for a long time. Well, alcohol is from fermentation of lots of different things, but beer is from fermented grain, is what I mean to say. And we found that the Native Americans, when we got here, they didn't have the wheel um, most of them didn't have metal working. Uh, mostly the metals that they worked were for artistic uh, stuff, and most of the metals they worked were gold and copper, very soft metals. They were very unsophisticated, but they had beer. They had it in the form of fermented cactuses uh, and uh, different stuff, and corn, fermentation of corn. So just about every society across the planet has had alcohol. Um, they didn't have it up in North America, but they did in Central America, down in Mexico and stuff. The Native Americans, pardon me, the Inuit, the Eskimos, didn't have it. But, by and large, most civilized uh, groups of humans have found some way to make alcohol. And so we've evolved with it. It was the only safe thing to drink. Uh, and when, because it's got its own built-in bug killer, alcohol, and when it's one of the few safe things available to drink, or the only safe thing available to drink, oh, and it's got a lot of calories. So, back in pre-industrial times, you get a drink, you have a drink, and you get some calories, some meat on your bones. Um, so, you can see why people would die at the age of 25 or 30 so frequently. Um, but anyways, we have had alcohol around for a long time, and coffee is more recent, especially for the West. It was introduced into Europe in uh, the mid-1600s. Quote, Coffee originally arrived as a mass phenomenon in the mid-1600s. Uh, it was not seducing a culture of perfect sobriety. It was replacing alcohol as the daytime drug of choice. And he quotes t uh, the historian Tom Standage from a book, A History of the World in Six Glasses. So this is a quote from A History of the World in Six Glasses, quote, quoted from The Invention of Air. The impact of the introduction of coffee into Europe during the 17th century was particularly noticeable since the most common beverages of the time, even at breakfast, were weak, small beer, and wine. Breakfast, small beer, and wine. Those who drank coffee instead of alcohol began the day alert and stimulated, rather than relaxed and mildly inebriated. And the quality and quantity of their work improved. Western Europe began to emerge from an alcoholic haze that had lasted for centuries. That's interesting by itself, isn't it? And Benjamin Franklin talks about, in his autobiography, how when he worked at this um, printing house, I think it was, he used to borrow his wages out to the people that he worked with, and they would be out of wages before the week's end, and then they'd have to pay him back with some horrendous interest during the ne at the next payday and would end up borrowing from him again. But they would always borrow money to go buy beer. And they were drinking from early in the day right on through the workday. And he said, I've never taken to drinking alcohol during the workday. It's always slowed me down. Now, when I originally read that, I was just astounded. But then I found out that uh, medieval peasants drink nearly a gallon of cider to each person during a work day. So it's a long, long history. Alcohol has been with us a long time. High energy drink, 
even more efficient at getting the calories to you than just by eating the bread or whatever. Um, and uh, coffee helped reduce the alcoholic haze of Europe. Isn't that interesting? I'm not a coffee drinker. Drinker. I gave up on uh, caffeine way back when I was like 12 or 14 years old as a means of curing insomnia. It didn't help a damn bit. Um, but uh, alcohol does help a little bit if you have a few drinks at the end of the night help you sleep. Well, there you go. Um, down with alcohol, up with coffee for the morning drink. But no coffee before bedtime, lads. Uh, only beer for that.